This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. What you just heard there was the rather fantastic solo, I think, from uh, the 10cc song, Good Morning Judge, which appeared on their 1977 album, Deceptive Bends. This was at a period of time when many people had written the band off because... Um, Two of the original founding members, Kevin Godley and Lol Cream, had had a bit of a hissy fit the previous year and uh, left the band. Uh, and this left uh, the other two founding members, Eric Stewart and Graham Gouldman, to continue without them, along with session drummer Paul Burgess. And as I said, many people were doubtful whether they could maintain the, uh, the hits, but they did. Some of their biggest hits came uh, in this second incarnation of the band, including this one, Good Morning Judge, as well as Dread Lock Holiday and The Things We Do For Love, just to name a couple of others. Uh, so I'll tell you what, let's have a little bit of a look at what's actually going on in that solo. Here it is. Okay, as always, let's take a look at the chord sequence. There it is on screen, and you can see there's basically uh, two sections to it. You've got the opening four bars, which is a descending kind of bass thing coming from a D to a D over C to a G over B to an F over A and then we've got seven bars of a kind of fairly typical uh, A blues boogie kind of thing seven bars of that then F sharp minor to F to E at which point we enter like a more structural kind of riff based part of the song which kind of uh, marks the end of the solo so that's why I've stopped there um, we begin over that um, that descending thing starting on the D with a slide part that basically uses these notes a D an F sharp an A and a C it's actually a D7 arpeggio, although that is really just coincidental. What you've got are the D notes and the F sharp notes that fit over the first two bars, which is essentially a D chord. Um, then the A note, which that A note isn't really strongly connected with the uh, G over B chord, but it kind of fits. And then the C note over the F chord, which is a note from the underlying chord. And then we're into the uh, the main meat of the solo, which consists of uh, two guitar parts that are, you know, kind of um, bouncing back and forth from each other. Let me just find the, the right uh, part of the tab. Um, excuse me, I've got my pages all out of sequence here. There we go. This is the one I want. Um, yeah, two guitar parts which are sort of bouncing back and forth against each other, uh, one in the left-hand channel, one in the right-hand channel. And the first one uses this um, A major pentatonic one here. And then a little bit of an um, extra couple of notes up here where we've got this D note, 15th fret on the uh, second string. Sliding up to the E and then the G there. So I'll try and kind of play the run and go... So it's that kind of thing like that. Pretty much just a straight run up that uh, little part of the pentatonic scale then. That kind of thing there, using the, the uh, G note there. And the fact that we've got this D note in here and this G note in here, you take A major pentatonic and add a D and a G note, and you get the A mixolydian mode. So overall you could say that's what's going on there. Uh, anyway, that concludes the uh, first uh, lead guitar part. And then what we've got is coming in from the other speaker. Let me just find it. Here it is. We're back down to A major pentatonic down here. 
and you can see the notes on screen that are used in uh, this lick here. So it goes. <laughs> that basically there um, that's one of those licks that's very similar but not quite the same to something I would habitually play so I've got to um, you know kind of stop me uh, muscle memory kicking in and playing my lick rather than the one that's on the track but you can see what's going on here just like that and then And you just straight ahead kind of fairly standard blues rock sort of stuff really. Uh, after that we're back to the other guitar again and that's uh, where we get this Mixolydian thing coming in uh, a little bit more strongly this time in the form of some uh, six. <laughs> using th those notes you can see on screen there and you start we start off here with that kind of thing there and then then we descend like that but what's actually happening and I tried to recreate this when I did the solo was um, as you're coming down this part here try and just kind of mute these notes so you get um, that kind of thing it just gives it a bit more chicken picking -y kind of country feel like that um, or just play the notes. I think I probably ended up doing that in the solo, and it still sounded fine, but it's basically that lick there. Anyway, then the other guitar comes back in again with another kind of um, country sixths kind of thing, uh, but this time on the G and E strings. So we've got um, that then, and lovely little chromatic thing there um, I did a lesson on uh, sixths a little while ago and there's a, a bit better explanation uh, in that of what than what I've got time to do here but basically I'm using hybrid picking so I'm using the pick on the third string in this case and then this finger on this on the first string like that and that is that lick there. And then we're into, I think, the uh, final lick of the solo. Um, so let me just let me find... There we go, page three. I need all the tabs, excuse me. Um, yeah, so what we've got now is just a straight up and down A major pentatonic thing using the notes you can see there, which goes... Um, there we go. Interestingly, that descending part of it, the all F sharp minor pentatonic, that's actually happening over the F chord. That should sound wrong, but it just doesn't because it's just, it's, you know, the tempo and everything and, and the fact that it resolves onto the, uh, the E note there. You can occasionally get away with that sort of thing and it just builds a little bit of tension and, you know, as long as you kind of finish it on a strong note as he does here, the E note over the E chord at the end, then that gives it its sense of resolution. You don't really notice the tension in this case, but, you know, you can get away with that sometimes uh, just playing essentially the wrong scale over a particular chord um, as long as you end up on, on a right note, uh, that is the proviso. Anything that sounds a bit tense will only sound, tend usually to sound wrong and tense if you don't resolve it properly, and this very definitely is resolved properly. So there you go, fantastic little solo from um, uh, Good Morning Judge, played by uh, Graham Goldman and Eric Stewart. Uh, I don't know which way around it was, it was in terms of which guitarist was doing what, uh, but it was the both of them, and there's some great licks in there, especially if you like a little bit of that country uh, rockabilly th uh, sixths kind of thing. So go and learn some licks and have some fun. And there is, of course, a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing the solo and that little explanation clip there and a backing track to play along with. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address and the link is, of course, in the description. It's only $3 a month and you get access to all of these extra resources that go along with these YouTube lessons. Thank you so much to everybody who's uh, supported me in that way or any of the other ways, all of which are linked, as I say, down in the description.
And that's pretty much it for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the video, found it useful, informative, and maybe a little bit inspiring too. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not give me a like while you're at it? Don't forget the live stream on Friday. I know it's only Monday, but we have to have something to look forward to, don't we? 5pm uh, UK time uh, every Friday. We sit and drink beer, talk about music and just life in general. It's a great way to kick off the weekend and I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. Yeah.